Hey everybody, welcome to Burrow Tech. In this episode, I'm going to be giving a review of a Mac screen recorder, and that screen recorder is Capto. All right, welcome back. For this video, make sure that you like, subscribe. More subscribers get the more content we can make. Number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get in the money-making trends before they go mainstream. All right, so let's take a look at a amazing software, and that software is Capto. Now, if you need to ever make screencasts, I recommend using Capto. Now, Capto is a Mac-only screen recorder, and one of the things that I learned early on is that if you use a Mac, you actually get quite good screen captures. And the reason for that is that the Retina screen is, is very good. Now, the other thing about uh, recording on a Mac is that it's actually really tricky to do. Before I started using Capto, I actually used my own custom-made video recorder because it was just so tricky. And believe it or not, there wasn't a commercial solution for that. And in fact, I built my company, Mammoth Interactive, by using my own custom video recorder. And after making it in Xcode and figuring out, well, basically how the whole Mac ecosystem works with video recording, it's actually a lot more tricky than you would expect it to be. And Capto pretty much nails everything that I've ever wanted it to do. And for the most part, I didn't need to use my own software after this because once Capto came out, it was basically everything I ever wanted. So if you don't know, uh, you can go to Capto here and it looks like they're having a Black Friday deal uh, here. So I highly recommend if you ever wanna make screencasts it's really, really good. I highly recommend using it. In fact, uh, so the thing is though, is that I'm not actually using Capto to record this. I'm using Camtasia. Personally, I like Capto better uh, than Camtasia for Mac. I do like using Camtasia for the PC, but for Mac, I find it to be quite a bit better. Now, let's take a look at some of the things here. Now, one of the things um, that I have to do is because I'm recording this recording, uh, recording a recording software, uh, there's a few things I have to do to make sure that it doesn't cut out or anything. So uh, when you go into Capto, there's a lot of features here, but the number one feature I use is basically the record here. So we got screen and area here. So we got, um, you, you can actually um, record the, the whole entire screen or the area here. So I'm gonna talk about when you would use both of them and let's just talk to the screen first, all right? So uh, one thing I haven't done here is I haven't checked the microphone and the record because if I do, I won't be able to record it because uh, Apple and the Mac ecosystem will just basically shut off both those two things here. But there's a lot of really uh, excellent things in here. So you can record the microphone and this here will give you the levels of the microphone. Now, not every microphone works. Uh, I do have a headset where that doesn't work, but for most of the microphones, um, it, it actually works out quite well. You can also record the camera and I actually record all my Burtek videos like this. And all it does is it puts a little, just like you're seeing here, uh, it just does that automatically for you. And it's, it's actually quite nice. You can show the cursor, highlight mouse clicks, um, and uh, you also have the option of setting the FPS automatically. Now, let's talk a little bit about what makes Capto so incredibly good and just recording in general on the Mac, okay? So if you look at some of these here, like for example, this one, uh, not that one, actually, this one here, okay? I believe, um, is that a Burtec? Uh, I think this is a Burtec here. So you can see that it's pretty big. Now, it would be actually bigger uh, if I didn't click a, a, a button here, which I'll be talking about in a second. But this one here, I made a video for um, for my developer. I said, okay, let's take a look at this uh, here. And then you need to, just giving my developer uh, so I can send it to them. Now, like some programs like Skype and WhatsApp, they have uh, limits to how much you can send, um, Discord, etc. So you want to get that, that down here. And here's the real thing with uh, Mac. Uh, they really like their their kind of lossless and their their really big video files. Uh, and to be fair, their their video files and their picture files are actually really good. They just take up a lot of space. And in Capto, if we go to preferences here, and um, you can see here that there's an option here to scale down to one times reco while recording. If that isn't clicked, your 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 files will be huge. And the other thing is that if you click that, it will scale everything down and your size will be a lot lot lower. It's really, really good. Now, if you like working with big files, then you don't have to click that. But for a person who uses this literally every day, I have to click this here. Now, there's two options here. So first of all, you can uh, do the screen 
or you can do area. And what will happen is once you push continue here, uh, <laughs> and I'm not gonna push continue, uh, just because I think that might actually uh, stop uh, Camtasia from recording, but it will give you an area. So the other thing is like, you don't need, like if I'm recording this for my developer, I don't need everything here. I could just maybe do, you know, just the website or even just like a part of it. And that will really, um, that will really lower the, the size of the, uh, of the file here. The other thing you can do is that if you're doing something for just demo purposes, you can just click it to 10 FPS and that will absolutely reduce the size here. Now, the fact that they have 60 FPS recording is pretty good. Um, you know, it, it, you know, going after recording on many different devices, sometimes that's not always available, right? Uh, so the fact that you can record 60 FPS is, is really good. Now, the other thing about Capto is that uh, it does have a lot of other features, which I don't really use, but they're there. There's like a video editor, uh, et cetera. There's also like a, a picture uh, here, but I just use the built-in Mac picture. I think it's a lot better here. But in, in any event, I think the recording, um, uh, the recording is probably the best feature. The other thing which I haven't mentioned, I'm just gonna go back to this preferences menu here. So the other thing about Capto is that it's fairly minimalist, right? Like it's there's not too many options out there, but it does deliver a job that you you uh, that you really need. Now, personally, if I want to edit things, I move it to a different program. I don't do it in Capto, uh, but I move everything to a different program just because I think the editing is a little bit better. But if you want to edit it in Capto, you you're more than welcome to. Just a word of warning, if you are recording the camera like like I am now, you do have to export it. Now, if you're just recording a screen, then you don't have to export it. You can just literally drag it over to the finder and then use it. But if you're, uh, the reason is, is that when you're recording like the camera and the screen, it's actually two different um, things or two different videos here and they're, they're kind of putting it in, into one here. So you do have to export that and that can really uh, slow down a project, by the way. So that's just something that you need to do. And what I recommend when you're making these screencasts is to do kind of like one big uh, kind of um, uh, uh, just take. And if you make a mistake, then you you do it in, in editing here. But the best way to make videos is to do it just kind of all at once, all right? So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with Capto. And uh, for the most part, I like it because it's a simple minimalist uh, app that really does work when you're dragging it uh, through the mud here, right? So like, you know, you have a tool, sometimes some tools can, are, are more sturdy than others. Capto is the really like reliable, sturdy kind of uh, video, uh, video capturing software for Mac. It is really good. Literally all of my employees use it and I highly recommend anyone with a Mac uh, that likes video editing to just go and, and get Capto here. And as you can see, it's on sale for Black Friday. And anytime it is on sale, I highly recommend getting it. It is literally the best. Um, it's, it's, it's honestly one of the best things I've ever spent money on. So again, and I don't have affiliate commission with Capto. It's, this is just an honest review about something that I use every single day. And I, I really do like it, all right? So for the most part, that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts. What screen recorders do you use? Have you used Capto before? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, we sell our digital products down below instead of doing a Patreon. It really does help us out when you buy those products. And if you wanna see Capto really in use, we have a subscription to our e-learning site, Mammoth Interactive. Our goal is to get the 10,000 paid subscribers. We have monthly and yearly options and that really does help us out when you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.